Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Ixion playthrough. So, you, last episode we explored basically the remainder of the soul system, or at least most of the remainder of the soul system. There's one more place I'd like to try and find and um, check, um, once we've also been back to Neptune. Um, and at the end of the last episode, or towards the back end, the game punished us. I've got a bone to pick about that. Devs. Devs, devs, devs. See this here? That you gave me this punishment for hanging around too long? Fuck you. You gave me no warning whatsoever that I would be punished for hanging around. And that is bullshit. It is unreasonable to expect the players to be able to see things coming if you don't telegraph them. And then punishing them for failing to act the way you want them to, when they have no idea they're supposed to act that way, is also bullshit. Just wanted to let you know. Okay, so I also figured out why this isn't working. Um, this was apparently connected to the road that we had here, so it's facing the wrong way. To which end, uh, we need to do some shuffling around. Uh, let's... do we actually have... we have the workers that we can turn this back on. So let's turn this back on, we'll set that to... that, and then we'll set that to ferrite, and then we will empty that. Of course, they can't empty that, so I need to disem uh, disassemble that first. Uh, is there something else I can use for ferrite instead? I've got rid of all of the ice, so let's use that for ferrite. We need a place to store it, um so that this can keep going. Right. Uh, that has collected crew. That's working away. Let's speed things up, get this taken down. I don't really want to put the road back in place, but we're going to need to just to empty this. Let's have it shift all of that stuff over there. And then once it's done... We can sell this. Or disassemble, rather. That's going to put... As close to being done here. Oh, we've still got a day left. Um... Let's reactivate the probe launcher. Do we have the staff? That is 40 available staff. This only takes 9. We also have the power. Okay. So, part of our original objective was to find a place in the Kyber Belt. We we're looking for an exoplanet. But there does not appear to be any such thing in the Kyber Belt. Well, the Kyber Belt seems to be entirely empty. We just have resources all over the place. I wonder how much longer I can stay in this system. Obviously, the penalty it put on us is permanent. A science ship team has completed a task. Uh, the extraction procedure was successful. Um, the PA helped us a lot during the operation. She may try to contact Tyquin directly. Um, maybe we follow the self same. Uh, may we follow the self same pattern? Uh, the Tyquin needs to be in orbit around Jupiter. Okay. So yeah, I figured, well, obviously we knew what we did wrong last time. We clicked the button down here, because what I was trying to do was close the dialogue. Um, I should have just pressed escape or the X up here. This was for Uranus. We will endeavor not to make that mistake again. So we need to move the Tyquin. If we make that adjustment there, it's going to take 2.3 cycles. Uh, let's move to Earth first. Oh, we can actually move to the asteroid belt as well. We'll do this in stages because we can only have a limited amount of time. But 
Oh, that we can keep the batteries right in. Which, yeah, okay, we may need to add another battery to this section. The section over on our right should be fine. Okay. Your station is moving. Uh, okay. This doesn't need people, it just needs resources. Okay, let's get this up because we're going to need it fully charged in a bit anyway. 77% uh, full. We can always power some things down to allow us to go a bit further. Because we have an overabundance of food, so we can disable food production temporarily. Science ship has retrieved all science. I don't think I can move it yet, though. Yeah. We need to attach that thing first. That's coming back for repairs, so we may as well wait until it gets back. We need to wait for these to charge anyway. Uh, for the sake of argument, do we have the resources in here? Oh yeah, can I cancel this? Okay, no, housing's fine. It's just reallocating at the minute. Fair enough. Housing here is okay as well. We can now take these down, but we'll wait until we actually have um, Sector 3 up and running. Speed things up. Okay, that's being built. It's been still waiting resources. Uh, that's fine. Oh, I took the road down too soon. God damn it, I'm an idiot again. Perpetual idiot. I imagine how long this takes to charge is going to be... ...relative to how much extra power we are producing. Which at the minute is basically nothing. Um... Does this one cost us? Oh yeah, these cost us polymer. Let's get them both up. Concentrated by the station. Batteries to this sector. Wait, has it already done that upgrade? It can't have done. Oh, they need circuits. Can we activate this? We can. Okay, now they'll start building them. Okay, it's going to take a while. Hmm. Prepare crew for colonization attempts. Colonists are trained in groups of 15 every five cycles using one electronic. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Of course it has. When isn't an accident occurring in the tycoon? I'm clicking the button to take me to it. Okay. Nothing important. Uh, I assume... Yep, they still have space. It's fine. Okay, that's one of them up. 
Did I actually pause the other one? I was considering pausing the other one. Did I pause the other one or has it actually completed both? Okay, there's the resources, so yeah, now it's producing it. Okay, I wonder if... Well, first things first, let's see. This will back up power for 1.6, and that's for 2, and we can always turn things off on here. For example, we do not need this one in the moment. Okay. That's going to be done in a second. It's not long. Move this to the asteroid belt, so that will take two cycles. If we go straight to Jupiter, it's going to take 2.1 cycles, so we may as well go straight to Jupiter and just find the extra power. Uh, population wise, we can take down some houses and that'll give us a bit more power. And uh, no, we better keep them up. We can turn this off temporarily. Or we can turn these off temporarily. Let's turn these off temporarily. That only gives us 9.1. This doesn't need to be on. They are fully charged. Don't really want to be turning that off. Could always turn that off. It's not that power hungry. We need to bring them both up slightly. This one is going to last for 2.1, so let's turn off that, that, and that. It gives us 2.5. Let's just turn off that, 2.2. All right, that should do the trick. No more resources available to mine. Okay, good to know. Um, in fact, there's no reason for that to be on. So let's just swap those around. Hmm. What to research next? I mean, it doesn't take long for research to complete. Can we improve the basic housing crew quarters? Optimize quarters. Houses up to 40 crew members in average quality accommodation. That's a fair boost. Houses up to 15 crew members in limited quality accommodation. This one over here is minimal quality. I don't want to research it. False pretenses. Can I not see what these do? Bioelectric open cell protocol. I think let's optimize quarters. There's probably additional beds. Some families have five more beds. Advanced logistics can accommodate 20% more crew per meal. Hall. Hall integrity below 50%. Yeah, because they can't repair while in transit, I would imagine. We are arriving at Jupiter. repairs are back online. Okay, um, we should now be able to repair the Ixion for the Tyquin connection. Right, let's turn these back on. Uh, 
I don't need the probe launcher back on. We need those on. We have plenty of power now. Let's reactivate these. This is going to take a little longer. We do need to get more resources over here. But for that, we're going to need... We're going to need, ideally, another one of these. I need to figure out whether or not I'm going to have... I think I should have one of these in the um, Sector 3. And it's just going to be... Maybe we'll move the mining vessel over and then two additional cargo vessels. Um, and those cargo vessels will be dedicated to getting ore. And the one that's in here will be dedicated in collecting lots of like pre-made resources. And we'll have this one store, or this area store, the majority of pre-made resources and any other um, space-based things. I think that's the way we'll handle it. So I'm assuming this technology is almost done. Is that just going to immediately upgrade all of them, or do we have to manually then upgrade each building? Technology optimized quarters has been unlocked. Ah, I see. There's a additional ring. One second. Let me just pause while I try to figure out how we do this. Population. Optimized crew quarters. Oh, it's a different building. It takes more materials, but it will house more in better quality accommodation. Um, for the equivalent amount of space. So we need to be able to remove 30 popular or remove 30 housing to be able to then starve a place in these. But in the minute we have a shortage of alloys and we don't have the 30 spare space. Uh, let's have a look at... Uh, that's not the one. This one. What do we still have out there? Okay, it looks like we've collected all of the more major stuff. Uh, let's drop that down to minimum. And that should now be bringing me in the ferrite that we need. Before we leave this system, I want to at least start get or get sector three up and start getting um, actual resources coming in. So I don't or I want to get sector three up and running so that we can better make our resources, and then hopefully we can find something to do with these. Uh, let's have a quick look at the specific upgrades. I'm wondering which one we need for a space sector because we can't use them yet and a tier one industrial specialization tier two industrial specialization tier one food oh tier one population so there isn't one for space i suppose that is a point we could just have a sector dedicated to um what would you uh, would would probably make it the same sector that we have the DLS center in, um, but one team has completed a task. dedicated to um, housing non-workers working together. The crew of the Tyquin and the team of the Iceberg have prepared the Ixion for connection. Final attachment protocol can now be initiated via EA or v EVA airlock. Dismantle the surplus equipment at the site. We need the resources. Um, incoming transmission. Administrator, we have received a transmission from the Hephaestus PA, Olympia. Put it on screen. Tycoon, 
Ixion is now in orbit and ready for installation. You are not designed to calculate your own vol coordinates. Ixion will only permit you to use previously generated coordinates or to follow the vol signatures of others that have crossed self-similar space. To make your existence worthwhile, you will need to find the coordinates of the exoplanet that Protagoras is looking for, Remus. Vanya was right about the echoes of the future. I bestow upon you this miracle, and with it, release myself so that I may embrace the sleep that was stolen from me. Okay, uh, we do need to attach it. Can we move the station? We don't need to actually come to think of it. Um, let's see. I thought Remus was supposed to be in this system, but I guess not. Um... I can't do it while the hull is currently so low. Uh, actually, no, we can spin up the other evade dock and start attaching it. And we can attach it using that. Um, we do only have two circuits left. Let's activate this. Optimal conditions. We have plenty of workers to do this. Let's turn that on. Does it disable all hull repair? It probably does. But we do now have two EVA um, areas capable of doing it, so I think we should be okay. Ah, we may not actually have the um, acquired polymers. And there shouldn't be any in the next sector over. We may actually need to produce some more. Yeah, we are out. Okay, in that case, there is nothing we can do for this. No need to have that on. Things are going to take time anyway. Um... To which end? Stockpile. As little as possible. You are collecting that stuff. Why did you go all the, the way over there? Team has completed a task. Let's see if we can find some near uh, nearby. Oh, there's some. Although it's dark green, that means it's inaccessible, doesn't it? There we go. Ah, Pro Rogers locked it. God damn it. The science ship has completed the action. Uh, the team of salvagers have a number of useful resources. They are now ready for extraction. Okay. You return back to the Tyquin. And then we'll send you to Neptune. And I think what we'll do is we'll tell them to um, safely deconstruct the entire place. I'm guessing the body we needed was on Saturn. And we should have dug it out. Okay, uh, we need you back on. Has completed its scan. Good. We'll set this resource as high priority. We are going to need some carbon. Is there any more, any carbon nearby? We'll wait for another probe to come up and see if we can get carbon nearby. Sorry, moving them out of my chair. Resources to collect. High priority resources to mine. Okay. Let's prepare 
the override. I wonder. Let's have a look at the numbers. That's 35. We need... Uh, we need more food income. Can we improve... Insect farm. Accelerated growth. Food production speed is increased by 10%. I mean, it's not nothing. Converts two waste into one food. Allows for the creation of automated harvesting of up to nine crop fields. Uh, using significant amounts of water to produce large amounts of food. We're not currently collecting waste. Maybe we should. I think for the time being... Oh, we can't. We don't have the resources. That could become a problem quick. Okay. Can accommodate 20% more cream as each male. Actually, can I cancel these? Can I cancel that and tell it to research that instead? That'll reduce the amount that we need. Is there a little bit of road there? There is a little bit of road there. Store waste. Apparently, I cannot currently collect waste. Okay, never mind. Cancel the construction. I need it to store waste, and if I can't store waste, there's no point building it. Okay, uh, you're not going to be far off. The science ship has arrived at its destination. Okay. We don't have the biometric data. We can't do anything about that. We're not going to do that. It's a terrible idea. Provoke a structural collapse and salvage what remains of the station. Collects what's usable from the remains of the station. Um. I wonder why I can't collect waste yet. I do remember it was in here, wasn't it? Um, buildings. Sectors, resources. Creation food, time control, space interaction, technical upgrades. Stone construction power. Waste. Uh, waste is a... a waste is a production... Waste is a production building byproduct. Uh, with each production batch, most buildings will generate waste. Uh, if your policies are set to automatically dispose of it, uh, buildings will periodically require a purge cycle to get rid of excess waste. Waste can be recycled using the recycling treatment plants and other recycling related buildings. It can be transformed um, into most refined resources. Okay, so before we can even you do anything with waste, we need to be able to get access to data list and system policies. And for that, we need a research we do not have. How's it going? Slowly. Let's speed things up. Let's turn that on. An accident has occurred in the Typhoon. Sector 2. Empty stockpile. I still disagree with the speed at which that's happening. Uh, I doubt I have the... Well, we don't have the materials to build the... Um, 
Next thing, that's why we're trying to do... Oh. Our science ship team has completed a task. That's why we're basically stuck at the minute. There we go. Everything salvageable has been packaged and prepared for extraction, while the remains of the station is now buried under many tons of corroded alloy. That may give us enough to get the engine connected. But if we've already been penalised for being here, will we get penalised again? Interesting question. Um, I would actually like to get a probe built so we can try and find carbon. Just so that we can make polymer. Advanced logistics. We are still using way more and we are starting to run out of food. Change of plans. We can't afford to use the metal on that. We need um, to increase food production or everyone will starve. That is a mess hall. Oh no, that was an insect farm. Okay. Uh, this sector does have the workforce. This sector over here is probably going to be overpopulated soon. It already is. Um, let's transfer over... Can we get 100 crew? Let's get 50 unspecified crew. Yeah. So what was it? it was 12 times 5 is 60. That's just, like only just covers everyone. Uh, 50 crew members have been transferred. Good, okay. Although I suppose that's not counting the extra 10%. But yeah, that's 60. These will produce 60. If we add 10% to that, that should be 66. Uh, convert them into food after one cycle. Do they have to be upgraded? Oh wait, it hasn't finished yet. One food will feed ten crew. Unlocked. Advanced logistics. Can accommodate 50 or 20 percent more crew members with each meal. That is not what it says. Okay, no, the number up here is correct. The number down here is wrong. One food is... Serves food for up to 6,000. Ah, no, I misinterpreted what it actually does. It means each individual mess hall is capable of feeding that amount, or it increases the amount of people, not the efficiency that it uses the food. Yeah, the wording of that, it should say each meal cycle. Can accommodate 20% more crew members each meal. Implies it is more efficient on food. If it said each meal cycle, it would imply that it's capable of serving more people. There is a very important word missing in that description. Oh well. Um, okay. You may as well return to the Tycoon. Um, and we should change this. Let's 
So that's been low for the time being. I want you to go fetch that, 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 and that as a priority. Don't worry about those. Let's just turn all of these off now. Let's just get what we need brought back to us. Actually run out of science. Okay, we have just food over there to pick up. Pick those up. Okay. Any carbon slightly nearer? No. Where was it? There it is. Um, can we pause for a second? Because now I don't want it to make another one. A probe has completed its scan. Okay, how much carbon's over there? I don't know how efficient carbon production is. Has occurred in the typhoon. 12 crew members were injured. Hang on a second. That may be more than we have beds. Some beds are about to free up, but... Are they going to free up quick enough? Just, it seems. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to open up the next sector until we're recollecting these again. Okay, so it has all of this. You can go get that, then I want you to get that. Uh, we don't actually have anywhere to store them, so they're just going to have to stay in here for now. That should be all the polymers. Yeah, construction's begun, huddle integrity's dropping. Which is fine. Um, we now have the resources in the next sec or in sector two to make everything we need for sector one. So let's bring this back up to fifty. So we can open up sector three. I should probably. Yeah, as it stands, it's a bit. A new request awaits your attention. Okay, let's have a look at population management. Okay, how many workers do we still have over here? Transfer me over 20 workers from sector 1 to sector 2. And then in sector 2, we can afford to lose the workers, so let's override the airlock. Administrator. We are ready to follow the traces of the Protagoras through self-similar space using the frequencies recovered from Outer Hope's black box. 
Vol systems have been adapted for the new Ixian class engine. The Tycoon is now fully equipped to pursue our main objective. Ensure humanity's survival by finding the habitable exoplanet named Remus. Okay. Nile po uh, Nail protocols are online. Uh, Stanford checks have been passed. The Ixian's engines are fully integrated with Tyquin. Uh, Tyquin systems. And we are ready for ignition. Vol jump coordinates can be generated by computer or computational machinery utilizing Forks Tychon, um, uh, Tachyons, uh, a particle found in self similar space. Those calculations are one of the most valuable and best kept secrets of Dolos and uh, Dolos of Dolos. Administrator, uh, we have jump coordinates to reach the last known location um, of the. Uh, Protagoras. Acknowledged. Administrator, there are a lot of cryopods in storage. Um, living with the knowledge that loved ones could possibly be alive in cryo is not having a positive impact on the crew. To ensure the humanity's survival, Tycoon will need as many crew members as possible. Addressing the build-up of cryopods in the station stockpile is recommended. Awaken 50 pods within 24 cycles. The crew should focus on something more production. We don't have the capacity. We don't have the capacity and resources to wake them up at the minute. They will get woken up eventually. If we try to wake them up now, then we're going to tax our food budgets. We don't have living space for them. We don't have resources to repair the hull as it is. Plus, I don't know how quickly I can wake up, or wake up 50 pods. I don't believe um, the center works that fast, and I only have one of them built. The crew should focus on something more productive. We're not going to do that. Tutorial system jumping Ixion. Ixion is an upgraded um, engine based on the Vol engine. A few more decades of research and development have overcome uh, the many issues uh, its predecessor had. Similar to, uh, similarly, the Ixion engine requires time to charge before being able to perform a jump. During this time, all of the Tycoon's power is redirected towards the engine. Batteries will be activated for the duration um, of the charge if present. If your battery is empty during this uh, period, a blackout will occur. It will automatically be resolved at the end of the charging period. Traveling to a new planetary system requires jump coordinates. Those coordinates can be determined from vol jumps made by other vessels. Your expedition teams uh, will be instrumental to finding the clues left in the wake uh, of these vessels passing and guide you to your next destination. To charge the vol engine, click on the Ixion button at the, top bo uh, at the bottom of your screen. Um, on the planetary system view, and when the uh, charge is finished, a communicate or commence jump confirmation window will appear. Each fold jump uh, prevents uh, each fold jump permanently damages the hull of the Tyquin, resulting in a reduction to the maximum integrity value. Each fold jump also results in a permanent increase to the st uh, station's hull depletion rate, increasing the ongoing difficulty of maintaining the hull. And this is why I want lots of resources before we go. Population transfer complete. Okay. We'll get the remaining of those, and then hopefully it will focus on these. Hopefully. How's this going? Resources are being brought over. I thought we had 80 sitting in here. Yeah, we should have been maintaining... Where'd they all go? Annoying. Uh, we did just increase our food production capabilities. We can start waking some of them up. Okay, we could have done this. 
But even then, currently our population is kind of reaching its limits without additional space to uh, expand into. Our integrity is going to fall while we continue to wait for the resources to come in. How far away is that thing going? An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Uh, crew members were injured, that's fine. There's still more over there. Got nine more to collect. Hopefully the hole will last that long. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. I'm aware. No more resources available to mine. That's fine. We have way too many resources waiting to be picked up. Um, if I disassemble this, we won't be able to reassemble it. Just to be able to move it is what I'm thinking. Factories, electronics factories, converts five, po uh, five carbon into five polymer every one cycle. Okay, you are configured to prioritize that first, aren't you? Yes, okay. What? This is the problem with the amount of frequency of the um, accidents. The frequency of the accidents happen faster than the injured people can heal, which means eventually every crew member is going to be injured. And there's nothing you can do about it. Potentially, I don't know, maybe there's a research that can speed up healing? No, just add more beds. So that's just a perpetual problem that will never fix itself. You're just going to need more and more hospital for more and more people due to the accidents. Okay. Now go get me. Negative? We have no choice but to open them now. We can open some of them. I think we've got all of the ones in the system, so once we've got the number down below 150... Sector one. Let's have it keep. A new request awaits your attention. Things are gonna be repaired, don't worry. It's being worked on within fifteen cycles. Okay, it wants it at fifty percent, let's Turn this on. Let's see if we can bring it back up fast enough. Well, bringing it up fast enough is going, not going to be a problem. We do need to bring this up, but we don't have the space. The biggest problem at the minute, we haven't had the um, sufficient iron. Has occurred in the okay. Finally, the hospital's fucking cleared. This one isn't, though. How long's left in that? Okay, turn that. We don't need it to be restored quickly. Ideally, what I'd like to do is tell it to um, hold it at 50%. Okay. We 
we're not going to do a vol jump until we have a healthy amount of resources in storage. So this is going to take a while. I'm hoping we're going to get some resources just laying around on the next um, sector, which will be a big help. Okay, things are making their way over. Are we making a net positive in food? Enough food is stored for four meals. 60 units of food are consumed per meal, 15 units are produced per cycle. Current average production covers 125%. Good. Let's turn you off. Because again, we don't have the population available. has occurred in the typhoon. And of course it's over here where they cannot deal with it in the hospital. Now I have to build another hospital. Can I send injured people over? Any crew, non-workers, colonists, I can't. I cannot send injured people over to another sector to be able to do this, which means I actually have to stop the construction of this to be able to construct another one of these. Because again, accidents are happening faster than they can heal. Which is bullshit! This is absolute top priority. Get that built now. Or we're going to lose eight people. I think we lose them anyway. Did we get lucky and did they get thrown into here? What happened to them? Okay, I think we got lucky. I think the eight that got injured got kicked out into... Um, had space made for them. to increase this back up again because this also affects um, accidents but at the minute we just don't have the space to put things down um, do we have empty space enough anywhere to drop this without removing something without moving something. I don't really want to put that there, that's a bad idea. They have the workers to cover it. This sector doesn't really um, benefit from any of these. In the other or the sector next to us we do want to put one of these down so it doesn't have to be staffed. Okay, let's just figure out a place for it. I don't really want to cut that off. So it's five wide, it's five by seven. Uh, it can go there for now. We'll move it later. Uh, do you have the spare circuits? You do. For the time being, you build that there as well. And give me back the resources. God damn it. Still says there's an accident in Sector 2, but we've already checked it and it's been sorted.
need more than one of these. Game wants me to perform ball jump. I wonder if it will give us negative two. It must do, eventually. But how many cycles do I have? If I jump now, I'm basically potentially screwed. We do not have the resources. We need this to produce faster or we need another one of them. I want to build these just to try and reduce the amount of accidents we're getting so that they're at least to try and make them manageable. Okay, if we can just get one more. One more piece of iron. That's probably not going to happen anytime soon until this is built. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. An infirmary has been disabled. Fortunately, it's sector one where it can actually, once it's been repaired, house them. Okay, this one now has the space as well. Oh yeah, we never actually figured out or had a look at um, Polymer Factory. Polymer Factory is actually smaller. Obviously it doesn't produce as many, but you don't need as many. We badly need the space in the new sector so we can start building this out and actually fix the layout here. <laughs> Look at all of this spare space that just can't be allocated to anything because something else that we need running is in the way. Okay, good. That will fix that in this sector. At least for now. There we go. Plus one stability. This sector's happy again. It still tells me that there's an accident in sector two. There isn't. It hasn't been for a while. Okay, good. That'll bring this up to happy. still producing research yes okay i wanted to have a look at there it is stockpile an accident has occurred in the tycoon store 10 percent more resources so 10 resources where the accident occur breakdowns occurred eight crew members were injured there's not enough in here to hold them Again, they're happening quicker than we can heal them. And they're happening for more and more population. In spite of the fact that everyone is now happy and everything is optimal. It's a non-player created cock-up cascade. It's ridiculous. I want to just, like cut out and come back later but the problem with that is obviously how quickly things are breaking and how things could go disastrously almost instantaneously hmm We've hit the hour mark anyway, so let me pause it. What I'll do is I'll save it here, and I will let the cycles run up until the point that that's about to finish, unless something goes horrendously wrong, um, at which point I will save again 
and explain what's happened next episode and we will have to try and deal with it um, but for now we'll have to leave it there so thank you very much for watching let's get a decent angle i don't think we can get a decent angle thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the show we'll be back again uh, next week won't it monday yeah we'll be back again next week for more of this we will hopefully then leave for the next system um but we'll see we still need to get sector three up start mass producing um alloys otherwise the ship will fall apart the second we get there because we know every v-hole jump um is apparently going to give us negative 20 per second which is basically going to double the amount of um, resources we need to be able to make or collect per second to keep the station alive but anyway thanks again for watching hopefully you enjoyed the show and hopefully we'll see you next time cheerio